Hey guys, Teresa here. Welcome back to my channel, Lost My Thread. I'm here today to share my sewing plans for this autumn. As always, I will be putting chapters down below if you want to skip around, if you're more interested in certain things. I have mentioned recently, I am on a bit of a jumpsuit kick. I feel like this just happens periodically where I feel like I don't have enough jumpsuits, I need to get some into my wardrobe. I think particularly when we're coming into like the fall and winter, I don't feel like I have jumpsuits for that time of year. And so I think it's totally valid and I see why it has made me feel really inspired and excited to make some jumpsuits for the season. So I have two jumpsuits planned for the fall and then I also have a top and trousers that I'm gonna share. If you watch my Me Made May videos this year where I was doing a bit of a wardrobe audit, I feel like this collection will make sense to you. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up here and down in the description box, but basically over the month of May, I went through week by week a very systematic approach to look at where my wardrobe was and see where I wanted it to go. And that has very much informed the choices of the things that I want to make this fall. As far as jumpsuits, there was one that really stuck out to me as an idea, as a concept, and that was a boiler suit style jumpsuit, particularly made in like a velvet or a corduroy. To me, it seemed so luxurious, also just super cool and definitely really comfortable. The one that I knew I was gonna have to make because it's been the one that I've seen around, it's been on my radar for a while, is the Blanca Flight Suit by Closet Core Patterns. I feel like Closet Core Patterns, quite often they put a pattern out and I'm like, mm, I don't know, and then, as I see people making it over time, I gradually get reeled in and I'm like, okay, fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this then. And this is very much one of those. So I have seen a ton of really amazing Blanca Flight suits. It is definitely more of like an advanced sewing pattern, but it's definitely something where I know Closet Core, they really do hold your hand. If you take your time, you can totally do this jumpsuit. I don't think for me, it will be such an issue as far as the construction. I think the fit is where it can get a little bit challenging. Jumpsuits in general can be a bit of a challenge, but I know for myself, closet core patterns, they generally fit me really well right out of the packet. I know I just need to do a one inch high rise adjustment and I'm usually good to go with their trousers. I will make a muslin of this because I feel like this is something that will be quite involved, spending a lot of my hours and I wanna do it right, I wanna do it justice. There are different options for this jumpsuit. It's very much like a flight suit, jumpsuit style jumpsuit, has a bit of a vintage nod. There is a short sleeve version or a long sleeve version. I'm really going back and forth about this one because I know if I wanna be able to wear this for work, for example, I need to be able to roll the sleeves up. And I think if it was a long sleeve in the fabric that I've chosen, rolling it up might feel a little bit bulky. So I'm gonna play around and think about what I wanna do as far as the sleeve length. But this has really all the classic boiler suit boiler suit detail, so it's got a collar on the top. It has a tie at the waist, so you can do like a proper belt buckle. I wanna do just a fabric tie at the waist, and there are belt loops going around. There's a hip pocket on the front, like a slash pocket, where one of the belt loops extends from, which I think is a super cool detail. Those are the kinds of details that I often really appreciate in closet core. They have their own unique style. On the back, there's belt loops as well, and the trousers do have some darts to fit at the back and some pockets on the back, as well as some chest pockets. It's, like I said, it's just a classic boiler suit. There's not anything that particularly wow about it. Small little details, but it's definitely something that I think would be a super cool thing to make given the right fabric. And it's something I've been thinking about. And when I saw this fabric, I thought, you know what? This is it. This is my opportunity. And the fabric that I've chosen is this. So this is an Atelier Brunette corduroy fabric. They're calling it bubble corduroy. So it's 100% cotton. There's no stretch or anything to it. It is a corduroy, it's a, I would say on the wider whale side, it's not like super wide whale, kind of like a medium to a wide whale, but I don't know how much you can see, but it has like a bubble-like texture on it, which is super cool and interesting. I feel like it really has such an impact when you're moving in this fabric, and hopefully you can get a bit of an idea to see how this fabric will behave. So I feel like this color for me is a really good color. To me, it's very much like a blush color. It is like a pinky, orangey, peachy shade. It's called Chestnut, and I think it will be such a cool option. I really like the idea of using a more feminine fabric for this more masculine style. I think it's gonna be really fun, and I think it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be super proud of if I can just get the fit right. And the other jumpsuit that I wanna make is definitely something where I'm going to have to paint the picture for you because I'm doing another pattern mashup for a jumpsuit. I did this recently for the Precious Fabrics Challenge, and I'll be sharing that in my September Makes video, 
But the one that I want to make this time around, something I've had in mind that I thought would work really well for a jumpsuit, is the Anthea blouse by Anna Allen. Now, when I was doing all of my Pinterest inspiration, looking over May of things that I liked the look of, I pinned a really cool jumpsuit with some lovely feminine details and a nice big puffy sleeve. And that is something that I have not actually seen around. There's loads of puffy sleeve shirts and puffy sleeve blouses around in the sewing community, but I haven't seen a puffy sleeve jumpsuit for a woven fabric. And I felt like maybe I just need to try and make it work with some things that I've got. I have made two versions of the Anthea blouse. This is the one version, the first one that I actually made, which was the hacked version. So this, as you can see, has like a shorter sleeve with some shirring details. The neckline is lowered as well from the original design. And this is like a proper hack on the Anna Allen website with some different pattern pieces that you can use and good full instructions of how to do it. But I'm not sure I want to do it like this. I think I want to do it more like the original. I've made another version of that one in a beautiful strawberry viscose linen fabric. I really love the shape of this blouse. It's a dartless blouse. I would say it's like a semi-fitted. It's not terribly fitted, but it's not overly boxy. Of course, the sleeves are very much what I'm interested in. So I really do love that nice big poofy sleeve. The longer sleeve version in particular is what I want to do, which is just below the elbow. I really like the length of this sleeve and the width of it as well. So the, the cuff I would say is relatively loose. I've made some other shirts where if they're going to fit me when they're sitting here and then I move my arm up, they can feel a bit tight. But this one is a really good size for me. I feel like the overall proportions of this blouse work really well. And so I want to pair that up with a bottom. The bottom will be the Ferris jumpsuit by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. This is a jumpsuit that I know fits me really well and so I'm basically going to use that as a base. So I'll be looking at like the length of the bodice and matching that with the Anthea blouse just to make sure that it's all going to fit, making sure that the waist circumference is going to match up as well. But I feel like this is a really nice style of jumpsuit but it's just a little bit more casual and a little bit more summery. So I feel like this will be better in the autumn months with the Anthea blouse on top. It has a drawstring waist and it has like a straight leg, so it's a fairly full leg. There are also some hip pockets on here. Fairly standard, nothing too over exciting, but I feel like bringing these two together will really kind of take it over the edge for me. As far as fabrics, I wanted something that would feel autumnal enough, but I also wanted a bit of drape and movement. I wanted a little bit of lightness. I kind of felt like I knew exactly what I wanted, but I wasn't sure I was going to be able to find all those things coming together. I knew that ideally I also wanted a floral print because I felt like that would match closer to my inspiration and feel a little bit more like the vibe that I was going for. I went on a trip to Somi Sunshine recently to look for a couple of things and I thought I would have a browse because quite often they have things in the shop that haven't quite made it to the website yet and I managed to find the absolute perfect dream fabric for this project. It is this viscose twill fabric. So being a viscose twill, it's a little bit heavier than like a viscose chalet. It's got a little bit more weight and warmth to it. So I think it would definitely be great for the autumn. But of course, because it's a viscose, it has that nice movement, that nice drape. But I would say it has a slight bit of more structure because of the twill element being that slightly thicker fabric. And so I feel like it will hold gathers really well, but it will also drape really nicely. I'll hold it up so you guys can see the really beautiful floral print, which I'm not sure, maybe I'm holding it upside down. I'll have to decide which way is up, but aren't those colors so amazing? So this is very much the kind of color palette that I was hoping to find that I was not seeing online. I really love this gorgeous rich orange background color. I love these gorgeous pops of reds and this blue and this like a uh, chartreuse color, the green. I just feel like this is such good colors for me. And I absolutely can see my vision coming together with this. I definitely think it's one of those, like I said, you're going to have to just trust me on this journey. I think it's going to work really well. I think it's going to be a super beautiful mashup. And I think it's going to be the perfect autumnal jumpsuit. And the next two things are very much meant to work well together, but are intended to be also used as separate. Lamazi Fabrics has this really cool concept where you can buy, they call it a make an outfit bundle, where you can buy two fabrics that complement each other well, and then they'll send you the both. And this was something that my parents got me as a birthday present, and I bought some fabric, I've been holding on to it. I know exactly what I want to do with these things, and I'm so excited to make them up for the fall. Something that I found myself pinning over and over again in May were 
floral button-ups. So this is button-up shirts that were either like drapey fabrics, more structured fabrics. I definitely have some more structured floral shirts in my wardrobe and have had in the past, but I've never had a drapey floral button-up shirt and I feel like that's something that I would really enjoy wearing. I like the idea of having a shirt that is slightly oversized, but with the drapey fabric, it still kind of hugs the curves in a nice way. I feel like there is just such a beautiful elegance to this type of blouse and I would really love to have one in my wardrobe. I spent a lot of time going back and forth about which shirt pattern to use because there really are a lot of shirt patterns out there and there's not a huge amount of difference between many of them. But there was one shirt in particular that I kept noticing people making and it really stood out to me. So I'd see the shirt appear on my feed and I was like, oh, that's a really cool shirt. I wonder which pattern they used. And it kept coming back with the same pattern and that is the Cameron Button Up by Helen's Closet. Now I generally do like Helen's Closet patterns but I do find her tops can be harder for me to fit. But this is not really a fitted shirt. It's a fit, semi-fitted, she calls it, but I would probably go a size up to make it more of a relaxed fit. But it's very much a classic shirt. There are no darts in this one. And this is part of where I was like trying to debate, do you wanna have it really fitted over the bust or do you wanna have it more of a relaxed fit? But I feel like if I'm going with a more drapey fabric, which I've picked out, I think having a looser fit will still work really well, but then that will also make this pattern so versatile for making other like just over layers and like flannel shirts to wear as well. So I'm curious to try and get this pattern to work for me. It has all the classic shirt details. So it's got a shirt stand and shirt collar. It's got a buck button placket. It's got a sleeve placket with cuffs. There is a long sleeve and a short sleeve version. I'm interested in the long sleeve version in particular for this. I will say, as I mentioned before, I do need to be able to roll my sleeves up for work. And so for this, I will add an additional sleeve placket on the inside. I can steal that from another pattern that I've used in the past that has that detail. But other than that, I'm gonna stick pretty straight to this pattern. Like I said, I've seen so many versions of this and I feel like whenever I see it, it just looks so good. So just like comfortable and cool and relaxed. There's an optional chest pocket. There's a yoke detail. I think it'll be a really nice and fairly straightforward one to make. And I think it will work really well for this idea. The fabric that I have is this one. So this is a viscose fabric. This is something that is probably not technically my colors, but I fell in love with this fabric and I don't really care. This has more drape to it, so as you can hopefully see the difference, this is not the twill, this is just more of a lightweight viscose, so it has more drape and more movement to it. The colors are so gorgeous. This is definitely more of like a delicate floral pattern. The other one I would say is more like vintage-y. This is just so beautiful. I really honestly, I just love these flowers so, so much. I love the colors on here. The nice dark background I feel like works well for those kind of colder days. I feel like this is gonna be such a beautiful blouse or shirt. I keep wanting to call it a blouse because I would think like drapey fabric, I don't know. It's a shirt. It's just a shirt in a viscose fabric and I think I'm really gonna enjoy wearing it. And the fabric that pairs with it is this. So I feel like I need to show you the two together because they really are meant to go together. This is a Serona linen fabric. So it's a blend of linen, viscose, Serona and cotton. I have worked with this fabric before. It is incredibly soft. There is a slight little slubby texture to it. I don't think you can probably see it, but I feel like I can feel it more than that. But it is honestly really lovely and luxurious and soft to touch. And because it is the viscose, Amacerona is kind of a similar substrate to the viscose. It does have some really nice movement as well. It doesn't technically have stretch, but I would say it, it honestly has a fair bit of give, which I think is a nice bonus. But as you can see, there's a nice weight to it, but it's relatively thick and warm. I feel like this will be so, so good to have some trousers to match with that shirt. The trouser pattern that I decided to go with is the Pietra Pants by Classic Core Patterns. So I recently did a Clash of the Pattern series looking at different shorts patterns. I absolutely love the Pietra shorts and I really do wanna make a trouser version. Now this is a flat front waistband with an elastic at the back. I really like the nice smooth knee detail that you get at the front because there's a front facing that goes in that's interfaced, keeps everything really nice and smooth. There's a really beautiful angled hip pocket as well. As I said, it's got elastic at the back, so it does have that little bit of extra wiggle room and ease for moving around. 
I know from the shorts pair that I made it is super comfortable and I really like the look of it. I find it really versatile. It's very high waisted which suits my style. There are different trouser options so you can either do a wide leg or a tapered leg. I feel like I'm going to go for the tapered. I could totally do either. But I feel like with a more like a relaxed fit blouse on top, a tapered ma leg makes a little bit more sense. But also one of the things that really drew me to this fabric is the fact that I have something else made in this fabric. And that is this Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company. So I've made this blazer before. I wouldn't say I get a ton of wear out of it and that's something that I wanna work on. I'm not totally happy with how it falls at the back. So I'm gonna play around with that and hopefully find more opportunities to wear this. But when I made this, I did have the idea of, wouldn't it be quite cool to have this blazer and then have a matching pair of trousers so I could have a bit of a, more of a relaxed looking suit? The Heather blazer is very much an oversized blazer. It's not super tight, it's not intended to be. And again, if I was gonna be wearing a looser on top, I feel like it would make more sense to have that tapered leg. This bundle, when I bought this bundle, it was not actually meant to come with this particular fabric that I'm using for the trousers. There was actually a cotton jacquard fabric that I was supposed to get, but unfortunately they noticed there was a flaw in that fabric. And so they told me they didn't want to give me that one. They wanted to substitute it for a different one. And when I was looking to see option that they'd given me, I spotted the same exact fabric and I thought, you know what? I feel like it's too perfect and I can have that vision now come to life where I have like a, a suit essentially. And the only thing I will say, which is always a risk, when you buy fabric at different times and the fabrics are made and printed on different rolls, you do sometimes get slightly different color. So I don't know if it will be very clear. Some may even look more dramatic on the camera. It's hard to know. The blazer, I would say, is a slightly warmer and this one that I've got now is slightly colder. So slightly more blue tones, slightly more almost like orangey red tones in this one. I don't think it's enough of an issue that you would look at it and think, oh, that looks odd. It's not like too off. I feel like if I was wearing them together, you would see them as matching. But I feel like it's important just to say that because I feel like if you guys were gonna do something like that, better to buy the fabrics at the same time. But I still think it's a really cool idea. And the main thing is I want to be able to wear these trousers at other times. I don't really have more of like a dressier, smarter trouser in my wardrobe. I don't feel like most of the ones I have are on the more casual side. And I feel like it's nice to have something a little bit dressier that would work well with blouses and drapier shirts. And I think these trousers will go a long way in my autumn wardrobe. So that's three outfits, four garments that I want to be sewing this fall. And I know these are not the only things that I'm going to be sewing and hopefully I'll get around to them. I'm always very conscious that I can get a little bit overexcited when there's a seasonal change and start thinking about all the things that I wanna make. But then of course I get new inspiration as the season goes on. I do have a couple of summer plans makes that I'm still in the process of finishing up and I'm hoping to get up soon. But the main thing is I just wanna be able to share that inspiration and excitement that I have for these projects. I would love to hear what types of things you guys are planning to make this fall. I feel like this transitional time of year definitely gives you a lot of opportunities for different like mid-weight things. You can definitely get some good layering options going on. I'm always looking for more inspiration, so please do let me know anything you're excited to make this season. I would also love to hear if there's any of these that you'd like to see me make sooner rather than later, and I can try and put them further up in the sewing you. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give me a like to let YouTube know that you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see upcoming videos, see all these glorious fabrics made into the patterns that I have in mind, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!